This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Puzzle 28. If statements, staying in bounds. Currently, the user can increase or decrease the value of the global index past the bounds of your array. That just means I have three things in my array, so the user can ask for index 17 right now, which is a problem. <laughs> well, I guess not. Well, no, if they hit next fast enough. So that's an issue. As a result, you've probably already seen that errors are generated. If you haven't, but, but, uh oh, angry computer. All right, so to prevent this from happening, we're going to add if statements to the event handlers on the next and last buttons. Yeah, that's a good idea. And they should check the value of the global index, right? And so my value for global index was item index of the global index variable before changing it. So they're going to check that value before they let you change it. If the user is about to step out of bounds, so uh, below or above what the array is, they should either block, do not change the index, it will result in a value out that is out of bounds, wrap, set the index to be the other end of the array. Oh, that's a neat idea. In other words, go past the end of the array, moves you back, moves the index back to zero and going past the beginning of the array sets the index to the last in the array list.length will be helpful well minus one do this add an if statement to the event handler on the next and last button that prevents the user that prevent the global index from going out of bounds past what that exist using one of the strategies above run your program to confirm that the user cannot go out of bounds and that the output displayed is Correct. Okay. So what I will do is I like the idea of having it loop around when they attempt to go out of bounds. I'm going to do show blocks. I think it's easier to read on videos. So we need an. Why is this already grumpy? Oh, from what we just did. Got it. <laughs> we need if statements. So control if add uh no we don't need it on the add we're gonna have it on the last button and on the next button okay so my plan is to let them go right they can hit plus and go beyond but i just want to check then and have it respond in a particular way so if um we're going to use the, so for the plus, if the user's going beyond, we're going to check the global variable item index. If that is greater, if that is greater, oh, it would be, I'm just trying to think. Okay, so length is going to give us, that's how I can do it. All right, talking to myself. Uh, if that is greater than the, my, array's name is favorites dot length minus one because remember length gives us the full length and it starts counting at one instead of zero so minus one would be the index so if this is greater right that means they added one more than index exists then what do we want to do and anything i put inside of here is the code that will run what i want to do is take my variable item index and let's see they're adding so if it's greater, I want to go back to zero. So item index equals zero. And then that should make it loop around. So actually, let's get rid of this and try this. Let's see if it's working. Next, next. Ah, ah. All right. So now same strategy. except less than. So if item index is less than favorites dot length minus one, because again, remember it favorites dot length. Oh no, I'm not thinking. If it's less than zero, we know our array will at least have zero elements to it. So if it is less than zero, then 
we want, just like this, item index, we're going to use our global variable again, and set it equal to item index minus, oh no, we're going to set it equal to uh, favorites dot length minus one, because we need to subtract one for it to be an actual index because the length starts counting at one, indexes start counting at zero. Let's see if that works. Now backwards. But uh, awesome. So now we can go forwards or backwards and it just loops around for us because it checks, right? We have these if statements and if I'm at something less than zero, it drops into my if statement and says, okay, item index now equals the length minus one which will be the last index of the array. If item index is not less than zero, it would just skip over this code and update the screen as normal. If item index is greater, because we just added, we click the next button. If item index is greater than the length minus one, which is, means it's past all the index that exists, we drop into this code, set it to zero, so it loops around. Pretty cool. Let's keep uh, going.